Welcome to Chemistry. My name is Jeremy Krug, and this is an intro introductory video about chemistry. And so we're going to learn what is chemistry. Before I do that, though, I'd like to encourage you to subscribe to this channel and also uh, to uh, like this video if you like what you see. You can also ring the notification bell so that you can be uh, advised of any other uploads that I make to this channel. Here I'm going to have, uh, or I actually do have, dozens of videos that are uh, going to act as a chemistry tutor for you and will hopefully help make uh, high school chemistry a lot more understandable for you. Well, chemistry can basically be defined as the study of matter and the changes it undergoes. When we say matter, we're talking about pretty much anything that has mass and takes up space. And so that could include anything that you can touch and feel and squeeze. Uh, that's matter. Matter is made of atoms, and we'll be learning about that in depth in this course. Now, some of the, f the most fun parts of chemistry involve the changes that matter undergoes. So we'll be learning about physical changes, but also chemical reactions like explosions and color changes and, and things that, that happen uh, to, uh, to substances. So this is chemistry, studying matter and the changes that these uh, things undergo. There are five main branches of chemistry. The first branch is organic chemistry. And this is the study of uh, substances that contain carbon. Of all the, uh, the elements, carbon is really special because we found that carbon is found in everything that's alive and everything that has been alive. And so organic chemistry is kind of the fundamental uh, base of learning about the chemistry of things that are alive. Now we'll talk more about that here in a minute. Organic chemistry involves carbon containing compounds. Inorganic chemistry, on the other hand, involves materials that don't have carbon. And so very often this is a, this is a, a very vast field of chemistry that people decide to go into as well. So we have organic and inorganic. Now sometimes when we think about chemistry or chemists, we talk about or think about analytical chemists. And the root word for analytical is analyze. And that's exactly what analytical chemists do. They analyze what's in things. And so, for example, if you uh, live in a city, every so often you may receive a little report at home that, uh, that tells you what's the composition of your drinking water or your tap water that you have. There are chemists that do analyses of tap water. They determine how much lead is in the, the drinking water, how much uh, fluoride, how much chlorine, and they want to make sure that it's, it's within a safe amount so that you aren't being poisoned by your, by your drinking water. That's one of the things that analytical chemists do. They can analyze just about anything. Physical chemistry is the study of the behavior of materials. So as an example of this, we've found that if you take a gas and you seal it up and you reduce the volume of that gas by compressing it down, you find that the pressure goes up. That's the behavior of that gas. And so that's a very uh, introductory uh, part of what physical chemistry is about. What happens to a substance when you do something to it? That's what physical chemistry is all about, how materials behave. Or maybe you've noticed that if you take uh, a bottle of water and put it into the freezer, well, after the water has frozen and turned to ice, uh, the the bottle has expanded. It almost looks like the bottle's about to, to break. Well, that's physical chemistry. How do these materials behave when you do something to them? The last part is biochemistry. And this is very specifically the chemistry of living things. And so when we talk about, for example, the chemistry of your blood or DNA or the chemistry of your brain or the chemistry of anything else in your body or anything else that's alive, that is very specifically of biochemistry. These are the five main branches of chemistry and if you go to college and major in chemistry at some point you'll learn about all five of these and in, in, uh, at some level. This has been an introduction to chemistry. Once again I, I hope you like this uh, video and subscribe to my channel and I, and I hope to see you on here in the future.